All right. The bounty hunter. Glad you could make it. You nervous, Hunter? Parked in the middle of Imperial intelligence and all. I could say one word, or touch one button, and you'd disappear forever. Poof. Gone. Just like that. No one would even dare to ask what happened to you. Go ahead. Say the word. And see what happens. <laughs> Nicely done. I like you, Hunter. I really do. I never signed up for this cloak and dagger stuff. I was a regular soldier. Then one day, I put together a covert op raid that goes a little too well. And bam! I'm in Imperial Intelligence. Look, what I'm saying is the stuff that goes on in these halls is insane. And all of it is crazy hush-hush. So what I'm going to tell you has to stay just between you and me. Got it? Very well. I understand. Here's the deal. There's a huge ancient Sith temple on Drummond Cuss. Used to just sit there being scary. Now the place is crawling with Sith sorcery. And it's been ordered a no-go zone for everyone. Naturally. We sent a team in. My commander led that team. Nobody came back. We can't report any of them dead without reporting the mission, which puts me in a bind. Why is it important to report those people dead? We need to explain them being gone. But that's not all of it. If I can't prove my commander's dead, I can't take over his spot, which means an ugly power vacuum. I'm hiring you to enter that temple and find the team's ID cards, especially my commander's. I need those IDs to create more acceptable deaths for them. What if this commander and his team are still alive? They're not. And even if they are, they're not. Understood. Make sure you find an Imperial commander named Gargan. Can't imagine there'll be more than one corpse in a temple wearing commander stripes. Grab all the team's ID cards and double-time it back here, quietly. What is this in front of me? Another worshipper? Who braves the flames of the Altar of Horror to stand in front of Lord Barrel Slathborn, Lord of the Sith? Captain Metal sent me to find you, Commander. There is no Commander here. And if there were, he would be my minion. Imperials serve the Sith Lords. Where's your lightsaber, my lord? Don't you feel naked without it? Insolence! You will perish in flames! To me, my disciples! <laughs> Try to be more careful. You got the IDs. Fantastic. Let me see. That's Commander Gargan's all right. What was it like in the Dark Temple? I've yet to hear anything that didn't sound like pure raving. You wouldn't believe me about that place if I told you. Huh. Still wish I could have got him myself. Would have saved me some unpleasantness. Listen to me. Unpleasantness. I'm even starting to talk like a spy. Friend. Remember when I said Sith didn't want anyone in the Dark Temple? I remember all right. Well, you can probably guess the rest. I can't risk the Sith ever finding out you went into their precious Dark Temple, which means you're now a liability. I apologize. This isn't the way a fighting woman should die. God! <laughs> that 
went wrong, didn't it? Got a hole in my gut. I'm not going to beg. Turning on someone who did their job is wrong. We both know it. Here's your writ. It tells the Mandalorians you did your job. And here's your pay. The rest is up to you. Bribe me, Captain, and do it well. That I can do. I've got all sorts of resources at my disposal. I'll send you some top-of-the-line weaponry as soon as you're out of here. That work for you? I'm glad this didn't have to get personal. It never was. Believe me, you're everything a woman should be. Wish I'd met you when... when I was still a man. What's done is done. Good hunting to you. Remember Lord Daka? The Altakas announced his triumphant return home from harrowing captivity. He's already being asked to travel and talk about it. Wonder exactly how much he'll tell about his little adventure. Might have to pick up a recording and find out. So, I've been wondering what kind of people put classified government doodads in their kids' heads. Figured there had to be something in the official records I could dig up. Don't leave me hanging. Nothing came up in official channels. Means I probably wasn't born on the Smuggler's Moon. But I figure someone in Arshadaz gotta remember them, right? Just have to keep asking. You must have some notion who they were. No, but I like to imagine they're smugglers, tragically shot down hauling a cargo of illegal gizkas. You're alive! Some Mandalorian big shot named Taro Blood said you were dead. They're about to start the melee without you. Do I look dead to you? Not hardly. In fact, you look like a woman who's been kicking around some sad men. All the other hunters who survived are already inside. Get in there! If I die, bury my credits with me. No inheritance, huh? Thanks a lot. Don't get cute. Move! And the last hunter left standing joins the great hunt. Simple as that. All weapons are allowed, but you fight alone. No assistance! And it looks like we have a latecomer. Somebody made up a story I was dead. Your competitors were relieved to hear it. Too bad for them, huh? Huntmaster, will you do us the honor? Today, many hunters earn glory in death and defeat. One hunter earns eternal glory in victory. Good hunting to all! We all heard tales of your exploits, Hunter. Perhaps I'll turn them into a song to commemorate your death. Make sure it's something you can dance to. Consider it done. I'd wish you luck, but it wouldn't help. So I'll just say goodbye. Enough! You hunters are the best that the galaxy's goons and thug lords could send us. Now show us which one of you will join the Great Hunt. Fight! remains <laughs> quite a show you put on blasted fun to watch how do you feel hunter I just stomp my competition into the dirt I feel great <laughs> enjoy it things only get harder from here let the hunter stand before me she is honored beyond all common hunters. Let it be known that... This is simply ridiculous. I mean, really. This needs to stop right now. Are we starting the hunt already? No! No! No unsanctioned kills in the Great Hunt! You see? That's a perfect example. I object to this farce. This ignorant thug does not deserve to enter the Great Hunt. 
Her credentials are a lie, fabricated by her little gutter rat of a sidekick. She deserves no honors. You lying, cheating, murdering scum! We know this hunter's history, blood. The Huntmaster has ruled. You fools! This is a place of honor, a competition of elites. Mandalore will hear of this. I'm ready to settle this right now. How about you? Enough! Before this great hunt is over, I will have your skull in my hands. Well, the great hunt just got way more interesting. Sorry to interrupt, Huntmaster. Please continue. The great hunt proves talent resolve. Mandalore calls it to bring him the most skilled hunter in the galaxy. Each hunter will hunt the other's prey. Then each hunter hunts the other. At the end, there is no prey and only one hunter. You get all that, Hunter? What happens when I win this contest? Fame, glory, wealth, and a chance to work with Mandalore, the greatest leader in the galaxy. You'll be hunting targets spread across the galaxy. There'll be at least one other Hunter going for them, too. You not only have to take down your target, you have to eliminate the other Hunters. I'm supposed to execute my fellow Hunters? You only have to eliminate them from the Great Hunt. Surrender isn't typical, but it's accepted. Today, you are truly the Hunter, and all else is your prey. Welcome to the Great Hunt! Your handler Krista will fill you in on the rest of the details. She's waiting for you. Oh, what a thrashing! The other handlers are all bug-eyed jealous you won. Now, on to the Great Hunt. I expect you want to hear about your targets. Tell me everything I need to know. Here's how it's gonna work. First, you're getting a starship. No more shuttle rides for me. It ain't gonna be quite that easy. We'll talk about it in a second. On your ship's computer, you'll access two holo recordings, both with specific details on who and where you hunt. View holo recordings, take out targets. Got it. Each target will have another hunter assigned to it. You have to locate that rival and take him out, too. Maybe we'll get lucky and Tarot Blood will be on our first target. Now, about your ship, there's a tradition for new hunters. You gotta steal one for yourself. I can already tell this is gonna be a blast. That's what life is for a hunter. Now, let's find you that perfect ship, yeah? Gotcha. I know one that belongs to one of them so-called importer types. Fast, smooth, and roomy. I'll pull together your holo recordings for the great hunt targets and transmit them when you hit space. Meantime, head to the spaceport. Get past whatever guards are around, steal your ship, and hit the hyperlanes. What's my destination? Your first round of targets are on Balmora and Narshada. Good luck to you, Hunter. All right, you disgusting pile of puke! Drop your weapon and kiss the floor! This is one starship that's not getting stolen on my watch. You hear me, scum? What are you people doing in my hangar? Your hangar? That's rich. You think you can steal the hangar as well, you verminous lout? I've had three ships stolen this year by the Mandalorians and their unwashed cohorts. Of course, not all Mandalorians are bad. Taro Blood was nice enough to tell me about this little tradition of yours. If you want to die, I'm not arguing. Why are you people talking? You caught the scum red-handed. Now kill, kill, kill! You heard the man? Get her! <laughs> Not just a good sidekick, Buster. Rules or no rules, Tarot Blood dies the next time we see him. Right? That scum is living on borrowed time. Oh, I hate this. I don't want to feel this way about anyone, but I just... I want to make him pay. Don't worry, Mako. It's gonna be alright. 
don't get all mushy on me. I was just saying is all. We'd better get moving. We've got a great hunt to win, right? Oh, ah. I mean, greetings. I am 2VR8, that totem droid for this vessel. You must be my new master. Gentle, kind new master. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What's your function aboard my ship? I am programmed for a wide array of tasks, including but not limited to meal preparation, ship maintenance, janitorial duty, and etiquette. Welcome aboard this Kuwait Drive Yard's D5 Mantis patrol craft. Its speed and firepower are unmatched by other vessels of its class. You'll find all of the standard amenities, including your own private captain's locker for storing valuables. The astrogation console contains a constantly updated map of the known galaxy. Interstellar communications are accessed via the ship's holo terminal. Priority alerts that you may find useful are available from the Imperial Holonet console. Lastly, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to issue new orders. Any questions, Master? Are you at least capable of providing security while I'm not aboard? I regret I am unable to offer you combat support, Master. Frankly, my chassis couldn't withstand the stress. However, should any errands arise that are beneath your superior status, please do not hesitate to call upon me. I function to serve you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on your bridge. It will program the proper astrogation coordinates and activate the engines. Been talking to some people. One of my contacts just had some guy in Arshada asking about me. Exactly what's he want to know about you? My contact says the guy practically screams spook. He's asking about my whereabouts. Goes by the name of Carteri. The spook, not my contact. I think we have time to pay him a visit, don't you? I'm not leaving him loose to come after us. We'll deal with him soon. All right, then we have a plan. You notice the Great Hunt never sends us anywhere nice? The Empire's been fighting for control of Balmara for years. Death tolls in the high seven figures. War or no war, I've got a job to do. I'm really starting to admire this professional attitude of yours. Let's see what Krista has to say about our job here. It's starting the Hollow now. Welcome to Balmora, Hunter. Your target is the right impressive Admiral Iverness. They call him Admiral Untouchable. Spends all his time on a fancy flagship surrounded by armed soldiers. Can't kill what you can't touch, Hunter. You gotta lure Admiral Ironus off his flying fortress and down to Balmora. To make things even more interesting, no friendly contacts here. You gotta figure this out yourself. And don't forget, the job ain't done till you're the only Hunter left standing. Good luck. Mako, get me everything you can find on Admiral Ironus. Already on it. Logging into the Imperial Network now. He's a war hero, all right. Actually won some battles against the Mandalorians. Wonder if that's how he got on the list. Hmm, this is interesting. Turns out one of the Admiral's toadies is in the market for a bounty hunter. Let's get every piece of information on them you can pull down. The job listing contact is Lieutenant Major Purell. And get this, discretion is of the utmost importance. Whatever this is, Purell wants it secret. How does this secret job help us? That's all I've got. Better than nothing, right? How about we go have a chat with Lieutenant Major Perel at his office at the Imperial Base in Sobrick? Find out what he wants. <laughs> 